One word for ultimate business success. Assalamu alaikum, this is your brother Muhammad Al Shed. And today I want to talk about something that I believe is probably one of the most important things when it comes to business success. Um, and I think it also applies to your life, right? Uh, and I want to tell you a story about someone or some people uh, who you would probably see as successful who would say exactly the same thing. Um, but before I do that, I just want to let you know that we release videos almost every day. Um, and the chances are with social media, you probably miss out on them because it depends on what time we're posting and what time you're online and stuff. So I would definitely recommend that you go to the YouTube channel and you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos, inshallah. Anyway, let's get started. So basically, um, there is a story and it's a true story. It's told by the actual person, um, Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft. His father uh, is at home. He invites a whole load of people around uh, and of those people, one of the people there is Warren Buffett. So there's about 20 people there. You can imagine different levels of success, different types of people. And he says to them, look, when it comes down to it, I want you to write down on a piece of paper. He asks everyone individually that I want you to write down one thing that you believe was most likely uh, to have been the reason for you to be successful. So every one of them writes this down. Now, once it's all done and dusted and he collects the papers or he asks them what they wrote, he finds out that Warren Buffett who's like the billionaire investor and um, the Microsoft founder, Bill Gates, another billionaire, um, both who have probably been on the rich list, wrote down exactly the same word when it comes to their reasons for success. And what was that word? That word was focus, focus, right? So the ultimate reason for them having the success and the kind of uh, achievements that they've made, they said it was down to focus. Now, Alhamdulillah, like, I think uh, I've probably been studying business formally since about 97 1997 uh, and then through my years I've been practicing it and learning it and doing entrepreneurship and all this kind of stuff and if anyone was to ask me about like the top kind of advice I would give one of the top three definitely if not the most important would definitely be focus as well in the sense that from my own experience I've found that whenever I've spread my focus uh, it's been weak I've kind of uh, failed at things made mistakes had errors but whenever I've tried to focus and I've put my energies and efforts into something specific I found the results to be amazing and I found that uh, success comes a lot easier uh, and the way to think about this is a little bit like uh, light like if you have a light which is kind of spread all over the place it's not that powerful but if you have something which is very very strong and it's like focused in one point that becomes a laser that can burn through almost anything you know and so this is the reason why it's so so important that when it comes to uh, business that we focus now there's this thing that entrepreneurs we face this thing about uh, shiny new object syndrome where we see lots of diff different things we see lots of different ads we're like oh yeah today uh, Facebook is doing this and tomorrow Google's doing this and third day someone else is doing this and we kind of feel like we're going to jump on the bandwagons we're going to do all these different things but one of the most important things you can do is focus right focus and get go deep with things um, go deep with what? Go deep with your product. Make sure that your product is amazing. Make sure that the product actually solves the problem, actually adds value. Go deep on focusing on your actual avatar, on the messaging. Go deep on uh, on the marketing that you're doing. Basically, whenever it comes to doing anything, focus very, very deeply on it and go, go very, very hard on it. Um, and if you continue to do this in different areas of the business, you'll start to see a level of success that you don't see otherwise. Um, it's like saying, like, if I was going to go one mile uh, in this direction and one mile in this direction and one mile in this, this direction, from the same direction I was going to go one mile, where would I make the most progress? Where you would make the most progress if you went in one direction for seven miles as opposed to going one mile in seven different directions. Um, and so this is a big, big reminder that whatever you're doing, you should be sitting down and you should be thinking about generally where you are in your business, where you are in life and thinking about how is your focus? What is your focus life? like in your life and what are the things that you need to take out because focus is all about getting rid of distractions it's all about saying no and this is a painful thing because deep down we actually want to say yes we want everything right but it reminds me of this big big saying that i always say to people you can have anything you want in life but you can't have everything you can have anything you want in life but you can't have everything so that basically is the same thing as focus that if you want something in your life and you go after it and you go fully focused after it and you give it everything inshallah you'll achieve it but if you try and go after everything, it's very difficult for you to achieve it. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you're going to go away and really think about where are the areas in your life, in your business, where there's a lack of focus that you can improve on. And inshallah, I'll see you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.